Hey, everyone. All right. As everyone joins on, we have a huge audience today. Celebrity fashion photographer, Kevin Michael Schmitz here. And I am so excited to go in depth about my favorite topics of photography, which is art direction, posing, and storytelling. Now, a lot of photographers, they get so caught up into the photographic aspects. Like when you're creating images, you're thinking about, you know, the f-stops, the shutter speeds, the ISO. You're thinking about framing the image, rule of thirds. You're thinking about a lot of the graphic elements in photography. But what is even more important than that, believe it or not, it's the story that you're telling the art direction within that story of how every little detail comes together with, you know, maybe where you place the model in the scene uh, along with, say, a prop. Say you're shooting with a vintage airplane or you're photographing with some interesting item that they're holding and how that model is art directed within the sequence, almost kind of thinking like a movie set and then posing the model. Posing the model is one of the most difficult facets for photographers. Now, whether you're a portrait photographer or you shoot weddings or you photograph children or you photograph commercial advertising uh, or, you know, maybe you're shooting fashion, whatever it is that you're photographing, posing is so valuable to master. And it's something that a lot of photographers really, really struggle with. So when it comes to uh, creating content that isn't posed properly, that's oftentimes because the photographer didn't relay to the talent exactly what to do. Now, believe it or not, there, the, the, a lot of models, they actually want you to coach them. They want you to tell them how to pose. And I know a lot of photographers that I work with, and you know, I've been shooting ad campaigns my entire career, When whether I'm shooting for Burberry or uh, I'm shooting for Giorgio Armani or I'm photographing campaigns for Pepsi or Smirnoff or any of the major brands that I've shot campaigns for. When I'm working with talent, I'm giving them a lot of direction. And how I'm doing it in a very, very kind way, but a very commanding way nonetheless. So even though I'm very positive and I'm excited, I'm also going to be, in a sense, very commanding because I want to tell them and I want to direct that right moment to make sure that that model is giving me their all. Now, believe it or not, models, they want you to coach them for the sole purpose of they want to know that they're going to look good on camera, right? Because a lot of you know models are really insecure and you want to make sure that they feel good being on camera and being directed properly so they don't look silly, they don't look foolish, they don't look what we call overposed. Now, you're watching a little bit of video content here um, that, you know, for me, it's really important to shoot not only photographic content, but also video content because when you're shooting stuff like this, and, and by the way, this was shot on location um, at our uh, New York Fashion Photography Workshop uh, where we shot at a $40 million mansion location up in Greenwich. And when we're creating these stories, I'm really guiding that model into that moment. And these are just a series of clips. This is not like a fully edited video. This is just a series of clips. And the reason I'm showing this is because I think it's important to show sequences that are unfolding as we're photographing and filming. But this is essentially, as I'm coaching the model, they're doing these movements with their arms, like right here, right? It's not too cheesy, but it's something in which we're you know, she's relaxed and she's putting her hand over her head. Then she's wisping the dress, which is blowing in the wind. And by the way, as you can tell, there's no wind there. So all of the wind is being created. We have fans that are blowing. She's also wisping it with her hands. So she's creating movement. And then, of course, we're also shooting it in slow-mo. So everything looks beautiful. And it looks like there's a lot of wind as well. Um, but you notice all the nuances here. The nuances of what we're capturing of the little you know, direction in which I'm coaching the model, it all comes together to create these amazing moments. Now, the photographers that are on there, I mean, there's <clears throat> massive audience on right now, um, but we have a ton of photographers on that have attended these in-person experiences, even the attended the workshop here in New York with me. Um, so it's so good to see you all of you guys. I mean, I see Randy Perietti, um, you know, you've worked with me for many years. Great to see you, buddy. You're from Colorado. I've, I've worked with you on a lot of art direction and posing um, for the last decade that we've worked together. 
Um, also, um, it's great to see uh, photographers like Scott Roman. I've also been working with you for about seven years or so, uh, working with me in LA. You've shot with me um, all over the country in Atlanta, um, and we've created some amazing stuff um, on location. And, uh, and it's so good to see Rakesh Malik. Um, shout out to you, man. I worked with you in Newport Beach, and uh, I believe you've also come out to Miami. Um, I get to see the great Tom J, uh, which I'm excited to have you on. I literally just got to work with you last month in, um, uh, in Newport Beach and creating mind-blowing content on location um, at these $18 million, this $18 million mansion out there, which was absolutely astounding. So good to see you, buddy. Um, and it's so good to see all of your faces, these familiar faces. And I know we've got hundreds of people on, but it's great to see the photographers that I've personally um, had the, uh, the opportunity to work with. In fact, um, Tom J., uh, you were on set with me filming um, this on location just last month. So it's great to see you on. And um, this content was absolutely breathtaking. Um, and this is a good example, you guys, of um, uh, when we're capturing content that is um, style. It's a little bit different because we're trying to capture these moments. We're allowing them to unfold. And then we're capturing them right at the right time. Now, this is a little bit different. I mean, I went over, I showed you guys a little bit of fashion where it's a bit more there's movement of the dress, the girls posing with their arm and all that. This is a little different. You notice this type of posing, it's a lot more natural and it's a lot more real. Like these girls are really, and guys are having a great time. They're interacting, they're having fun, they're smiling, they're energized. This is the most complicated type of photography with art direction and posing. And this is the kind of stuff that separates, you know, the, 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 the superstar photographers from the run of the mill photographers are the photographers that can art direct these scenes, this stuff, this is where the magic happens. This is hard to do. Might look like they're having a party and they're having a great time and everything's easy, but it's not. We're shooting with four model scenes, sometimes five model scenes, and we're art directing these very, very complex scenarios in which the models are dancing, they're interacting, they're having fun. All of this, it's, it's all art directed though. It's a story that I'm unfolding throughout these different moments that happen throughout the day. And we had them coming down the stairs. We had them laughing. We had them smiling. We had them walking across the pool. We had them um, joining arms. We had them um, interacting. Then we have this moment where they're back inside and they're having these great times. You also notice that each scene has a different outfit change, which is also really important on an art direction standpoint. Now, if you're going to publish this in a magazine, we, you want to make sure that every single scene that you're shooting is not only going to be art directed differently, but also the wardrobe has to be different. The wardrobe needs to be different in every single scene so that the magazines will publish it. Otherwise, they're not going to. But it's really, really important. And as if you notice this, and this is, by the way, just one day of one of our photographic workshops um, when we're in Newport Beach. Um, and this was this, this, uh, we actually worked with million dollar listing, um, Frederick from million dollar listing, his partner, um, partnered with us on this and provided this unbelievable $18 million house uh, down in Laguna Hills. But when we're shooting this, you notice all the little nuances of the art direction and it feels like they're my friends. It feels like I'm connected to them. They're smiling, they're energetic. And I recommend that even though this, this is guided more towards shooting an ad campaign, I want you guys to also art direct the same type of feeling and sequences and posing in your portrait photography, in your wedding photography, in, you know, your, in pretty much any consumer photography, these little nuances are really, really key. It really makes a big difference to show a feeling and to show energy and to show connection between the models. That is so vitally important. I mean, I think that if you can have energy and if you can basically create these moments, allow them to unfold and then have the models then get into that, those nuanced moments in which it is really authentic, they are actually dancing and smiling, then it all comes together and then you create absolute magic. And so great, good to see you, Tom, because I know you got a chance to work with me on that. I think it was your first time doing a production at that scale. So really, really fantastic. Um, I have so many amazing people on and um, I'm, I'm loving this. I, um, we have some amazing experiences 
that I would say that within the photography workshop series that I'm in directing, I mean, I, I, I came out, just so you guys know, I started out doing my bachelor's and pursuing my master's of fine arts to be a professor of photography. And I quickly realized that there was this huge disconnect between photographic education and working as a full-time professional photographer. And some of you guys might have realized that too. And I realized, you know what? Um, when I got out of grad school, it's like there is this huge challenge that I see. And I see so many photographers not really prepared for the real world, not really prepared to pose correctly, not really prepared to art direct properly, not really prepared to tell a full story. Oftentimes they're just taught the theoretical aspects of image making. And they're not even taught anything about the business side. So a lot of times photographers get out of photography school and they have no clue what to do and they're stuck. And that was me. And that was a challenge. And, I, and it was really hard for me because I had to figure it all out on my own. And I did. I mean, I came from nothing. I, I grew up in a little village of 2,000 people in rural West Michigan. And I just literally just had to you know, burn the boats, go full on. I didn't know a soul. I had like $150,000 in debt. And I just had to go for it and do it and create these moments. But what I figured out really early on in my career, um, and this is in my early 20s, is that what really matters in photographic success is the story. So when I started working with top agents that represented the best stylists in the industry, stylists that style for um, America's Next Top Models, makeup artists, the, I, my, the agent that I worked with when I was in my early 20s, I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I've got, I, I'm doing all these shoots. I'm doing all these editorial shoots that I'm pitching to magazines and I really want to get, you know, work with your top stylist. Can you tell me, can you send me your people? So she did because she believed in me. And I started telling stories instead of just photographing pretty pictures of pretty people. I started art directing sequences that were really interesting. And what I mean by that is the images, they were more than just aesthetically beautiful. There were images that unfolded into a full scale story. And I had a lot going into it. I, I, I put a lot into it. And I'll show you a few examples. Some of my earliest work um, was, was this. You know, I think I was, gosh, I was probably, I don't know, 23, 24 when I shot this. And, but I put together a full story. And what I mean by that is that this is all from the same day, all from the same shoot in creating these different moments. And, you know, where I have the up close shot of the model right there on the left. And she's got, you know, this was, and, and basically just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown, if you remember the show Mad Men, well, Mad Men had come out. It became a hit show. And I even contacted the agent for John Hamm and for January Jones and the other, um, the other talent that was on the show. They were very interested in doing the editorial. They actually said, yes, they would be a part of the editorial. And with one condition, and that was that they had to get the cover. Yeah, that's a fair condition. And the magazine said no. <laughs> which was silly on the magazine's part, but they didn't really care. They had put other more important celebrities at the time on. They had like Beyonce on the cover instead. So um, that's okay that we, we, instead of using the celebrities, we shot with, um, with models from Ford, from Elite, from Illumina. Um, and I casted all these models. But what was really important is to tell the modeling agencies and to tell the stylists and to tell everybody involved the story that I'm telling. So I literally like sketched out the concept I storyboarded it. Like I literally drew it out, even though I'm not very good at drawing, but I drew it out. I sketched it out and I created. And then what I did is I had an, I actually brought in an, an illustrator to physically draw it out and, and, and make it like a professional art directed scene. And what was really interesting, it's kind of hard to see here, but um, on this image, if you guys know the show, it's about a creative director. If you look closely, these are actually art directed scenes from the show, <laughs> from actual ads from the show and from sequences that we used. Um, actually, th these ones were sequences. So in the scene, uh, some of these, these shots, uh, the actual sketches were story, they're, they're storytelling art directed illustrations of the story that I'm photographing. So <laughs> that was really cool. So I actually, I, we brought this to light, uh, to life in photographs and we used it as a prop in the scene, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and it created a really dynamic scene. And, um, and it also led to other things. So, you know, you, the editorial, even though it didn't have much of a budget, I didn't really make much money on it, but these images were so iconic. And one of the cool things I did was I ended up selling these as fine art pieces uh, to galleries and to private collectors. And even um, a, a guy who was a friend of mine who had, um, 
who actually lived near me in Manhattan Beach, was uh, the, the uh, he was the CFO of MGM, the movie production company, and he loved this image, so he paid me a lot of money to actually blow it up as a giant print and put it on his wall. You know, so I mean, it can lead to that. It can actually lead to a fine art piece because he found it so interesting. There's a lot of story being told here, like in this scene, right, where the guy is like adjusting his tie and the girl in the background is putting a you know garter on. And this is all from the same sequence. And if you know the show Mad Men, it's all you know. There's all these like affairs and there's all these this wild things going on. And um, and then it's um, and uh, you've got you know all these certain moments that are happening between the main characters, the creative directors, and then the, the people that are on their team. They're, um, you know, the art directors, the copywriters, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm telling these stories. And I and the reason I bring this up is because I want you guys to start thinking beyond just photographing something. And I want you to come up with an actual story, like something really interesting, something where you can create these moments. And then you can also share this with the people that you are trying to work with, whether we're top models, modeling agencies, you're trying to work with the best stylists, et cetera. You know, it's really, really important. Now, I also, by the way, guys, um, it's so good to have you on. We have a huge audience on right now. I'd really, really love for you to fill out this survey that I'm gonna send in you guys out um, in the chat. So if you wouldn't mind, um, if you could fill that out as well, the the um, photographic photography survey link, it's in the um, in the chat there. And I'd love to know your photographic goals, what your goals are for 2024. What is it? I mean, do you want to learn art direction? Do you want to learn storytelling? Uh, do you want to be better at posing? Um, is there something maybe in your business that you want to improve? Is there a certain you know, amount of money you want to make as a photographer? Or is it just creative? I'd love to know. Um, and then, you know, if you're interested in attending any of these epic productions, um, which we're talking about, because I know about half of you guys have attended these workshops before. Um, if you are interested in coming and shooting at one of these mind blowing photographic productions that are out of this world, let me know. Let me know how interested you are. Um, but basically, the photography workshop series is designed so that instead of, you know, working the hard way and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a photographic education and hundreds and hundreds, several hundred thousand dollars on developing these productions at a really high scale, we give you the opportunity to photograph the greatest images you've ever shot in your lifetime, guaranteed, on location with us and creating these moments where they're beautifully art directed, beautifully posed, and we show you how to pose in person with me. I also am going to be, and this is this is an example. This is at our New York workshop. Um, this is was shot on location, and this was photographed by our attendees. I, I think this was photographed between um, a couple of our photographers, like David Gesprek um, and um, Hans J. Paul and Mike Wylett. Um, and we created these amazing images that the photographers that attended shot, and I'm there helping them art direct these moments, getting the right expression out of the girl's face, getting the right stance as she's looking off to the side, or getting the walk where she's walking in powerfully going forward. And um, all of these little moments, they have a lot to do with the direction of the light, the way you're lighting it, the way what you're saying to the models and how you're coaching them and then how they're feeling. Really, really, really important. So if you guys are interested in shooting at this level, you know, because I know a lot of photographers, they always want to do the, you want to do more, right? I, I know a lot of photographers aren't really totally satisfied uh, with where they're at in their photography. I don't know if you are. Um, I know most photographers I speak to, you know, they want to be, get better at posing. They want to get better at storytelling. They want to make more money as a photographer. They want to get booked by more people. They want a more notable brand. Maybe they want to shoot for major magazines, major ad campaigns. I don't know. I'd love to know from you what you want to do. But I know that just doing what you're doing standard on your standard flow, a lot of times photographers, they miss the boat. And the reason is, is because if you don't have, it's this kind of this chicken or the egg thing. If you don't have A-list, world-class supermodels like these, like these girls have been in Versace campaigns, they've been in Vogue, they've been in Giorgio Armani campaigns, these specific models. So if you um, are not, don't have access to these models and you're not, not currently shooting them, and even if you're a portrait photographer or wedding photographer, even if you're not currently shooting them and you're just shooting regular people, well, you're way behind every, uh, the, the top photographers. If you want to make more money and you want to raise your brand to a higher level, you've got to shoot with top talent. It's just simple as that. The other aspect of this is like capturing moments here becomes a lot easier when the models know how to pose, when they know how to pose and they do it naturally without you having to tell them that much. I kind of just give them a guide of like, okay, 
you know, I want these feelings. I want this energy out of you and just move. And then if they're not doing it exactly how I want it, I'm going to yeah, make some adjustments and, and tell them in a kind way. I'm going to coax them to, you know, all right, you know, I really love that, but why don't you look in this other direction? Why don't you swing your dress because we're shooting in slow-mo? Uh, you know, why don't you hold that owl up and look gazingly off to the side? Um, or why don't you run and we can, you know, and why don't you flip your dress right by the camera as you're running through? Whatever it is, I, I want to get the most out of the models. So I'm going to be guiding them and coaching. Now, this is something that to do it, you know, on set without a guide, without a coach and without somebody who's a world class, um, you know, fashion photographer, it can be a little hard to learn. It can be a little scary. It can be also be a little intimidating with these top models and stuff like that, too. But most importantly, it's getting the most out of the production and also having access to this production. I mean, this is this is at a scale of you know, about a hundred thousand dollar a day production. And, you know, all these shoots, I mean, this is an aerial shot of the location we were at, at a $40 million mansion in Greenwich um, for the New York workshop. This was also at that same production. Um, but having that at your fingertips, it really, really makes a difference. It completely transforms everything and it allows you to compete at the highest level, you know? So I don't know about you, but I like to compete at the highest level. I want to be winning photographic awards. I want to be shooting content that is absolutely award-winning, publishable, landing campaigns. I mean, most photographers do, right? And this is an opportunity to do that, which I get really excited about. This is one of the reasons I designed the photography workshop series. So if you guys, you know, if you want to master posing and art direction and storytelling, I want you guys to go home and start using the techniques I'm showing you today and discussing. You know, if it's fashion, I want you to start thinking about, okay, what are the expressions? What are the feelings? What are the emotions that the model is now feeling? Is it a sense of disconnect? Is it a sense of isolation? Is it a, a sense of intensity, confidence? What, what is it? And then relay that to the model and then get them to give you. And then adjust your angles and adjust their angles to capture that moment at just the right time. Now, if it's if it's a model that already kind of knows are doing like this model, I mean, she, you know, she's been in all these big like Versace campaigns, Louis Vuitton campaigns. She knows what she's doing. So I kind of just like give her some, you know, leeway and let her do her thing. And then if I want anything special, I then, you know, like I'm having her walk through the scene holding this dog. <laughs> so that might be something different. And then I'm going to be capturing it from all these different angles. So I make her do it like 15 times. So I have her do it in all these different angles. And then I'm capturing low shot of the dog, tight shot of her face, wide shot, medium shot, maybe even an aerial drone shot. And then, you know, or this scene, you know, where we're shooting a sequence where she's flapping her wings and creating that moment. I am, you know, I, I want to make sure I'm getting it right at the apex so that we don't miss, you know, that flow. Right. I want to see the stars. I want to see it. But I also want to be able to see the background. I mean, you've got this cool sundials. You've got this amazing. I and mean, this is a $40 million mansion. I want to make sure that we get the background, too. So I don't want to completely block the background. So all the little nuances that you coach the talent into and then also making sure that they're facing the right direction. You see how beautiful lighting is. I'm shooting with gorgeous lighting in the correct direction to an eight by eight silver bounce. And it creates this stunning, stunning moment which I think is absolutely fantastic and beautiful. So, um, so anyway, um, if you guys have any interest in this, um, I want to make sure that you also set up, we're, we're giving you guys an opportunity to set up a one-on-one um, -on -one photographic momentum session with one of our photographic coaches. Now, this is totally free, um, but I'm offering it right now. And it's a cool opportunity. I know a bunch of you guys have been on these, um, have, have, have attended these experiences. And it's, it's just an awesome way to help you grow and to help you become an absolute master in posing, in storytelling, in art direction under the guidance of people on my team that work with me every day. Um, and you can jump on live with them. You can go through your images, go through your website, and maybe even come up with a plan of what you want to do going forward um, if you want to master something specific, whether it's creative or whether it's on the marketing side or whatever it is, um, they're here to help you. And that's a dedication that I give because I just solely believe in photographic education and over delivering, delivering value as much as I can to give you guys everything you need to be absolute rock stars, to be superstars, because I want you guys to be super successful. Because then if you are, I'm proud and I get to talk about you and I get to show your wins, which to me is really important. 
I want to show your wins. I want to see you guys winning awards. I want to see you guys crushing it. Um, and I want to see you guys, um, you know, landing ad campaigns and shooting and increasing how much you're charging your clients. And I want to see you get published in the cover of magazines. I, I love seeing that. It really, really makes me happy. And I want to, to help you guys every step of the way. So click on that link. Um, it should be on the your right side of your screen um, to uh, to set up one of these photographic uh, momentum sessions. Strongly recommend it. Um, and I think that um, you'll get a lot out of it. It's totally free, but I you'll you'll team up with one of my amazing team members. Um, by the way, I've got a lot of really fantastic um, comments that are all in here in the chat. I really, really appreciate that. I'd love to see you guys. And if you have any direct questions, I'd really love to hear them because I, um, you know, I'm here for you guys and I'm doing these so that I can um, guide you guys, answer any of your questions live because these sessions are always live and I wanna make sure that um, I can get to all your questions, answer your questions and help each and every one of you guys as much as I possibly can. Um, so you guys are delivering your time to me and you're spending the time, you know, joining me this evening and making sure, and for me, I wanna make sure that you're gonna get the most out of it. That's really important. Because for me, I, I care about you guys and I want to make sure that you're going to get um, every aspect of what I deliver um, to, the, to the highest level. So anyway, so when I'm um, so one thing to take away just from kind of what we just discussed is why don't you start designing ideas you guys want to shoot? Why don't you guys start telling stories? Sketch it out. Even if you're a terrible artist, that's OK. Write it out like I did for that Mad Men story. You know, create something interesting that. Um, you know, that you can show and pitch to a magazine to get them excited, you know, to make sure that, um, you know, that they are, uh, are going to be falling in love with the story you're telling and they're going to want to work with you because that's what it's all about, making sure that they want to work with you. Um, and I think that if you guys aren't telling stories, you're going to be left behind. That is going to be really important, really, really um, important. So, um, so guys, I, I've got some amazing panelists I want to have jump on. I've got the great Scott Goodwin. I see him in there. And Scott, if you want to raise your hand so that I can add you as a panelist, that'd be fantastic. Um, I also want to get the great Eric Smith up here. Um, I've got some amazing people that I do want to introduce to you guys. And I also want to answer as many of your questions as possible. The chat's kind of, there's all kinds of great questions and stuff um, in the chat. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you have any of your, um, any specific questions on photography, on photographic posing, um, on storytelling, on working with models, let me know because that's what we are doing uh, today. Okay, so I do want to then um, uh, talk a little bit about uh, why it's important to have great posing and storytelling and high production, and that is to win awards. That is to stand out, you know, and this is what I get really proud about because just in the last two years alone, we've won 250 photographic awards, all from our photographers. These are all attendees of the photography workshop series. These are all photographers that have attended and shot images at our workshops where they won awards and they won over 250 awards just in the last two years. And in the top 10 fashion photographers in America, we won seven out of 10 of the top 10 fashion photographers in America. And you can see them right here. But if you notice there's a trend in these images, these images are iconic. These images have incredible storytelling, incredible art direction, beautiful posing. And each and every image has the correct pose, the correct moment, the correct storytelling that really stands apart. And that's what I get excited about. And I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys create content that is just like otherworldly, that's iconic. Images that can hang on somebody's wall, like the, uh, the CFO of MGM, and he wants to you know, blow up that image and place it on the wall and have this. It was a giant, like, I think it was like a seven foot, four foot by seven foot print, something ridiculous like that. And he loved it. And it was this big, huge, beautiful frame print that I put on his wall. And he, he loved it. And that's, that to me shows that that's iconic. That is extremely iconic. And oh, and thanks guys for the comments. Kevin says, Kevin Machado says, the one with the airplanes is sick. <laughs> I agree, I agree. It is amazing. Uh, this was shot at our elite masterclass on fashion. Um, and uh, this was actually all shot by our attendees of the workshop during the workshops with me. Um, but great example of storytelling here. Great example of art direction. Really, really, really important here. And um, I think, um, oh, and by the way, um, speaking of this, 
uh, one of the photographers that attended uh, one of our workshops here at the um, airfield uh, is the great Scott Goodwin. He's attended a series of these workshops with me. Um, and I actually would love, Scott, to, for you to join me because um, you've created some mind-blowing content with me uh, in, I believe, Miami. You shot with me in Los Angeles. Um, you've done some incredible stuff. Um, and you're a world-class photographer. So I'm you know, absolutely honored um, to have you join me. Um, so uh, anyway, so uh, go ahead and join, Scott. I think you can join as a, um, as a panelist. Um, if it's not letting you, then try raising your hand again, and then I will put you in as a panelist. Um, but uh, anyway, but Scott attended our workshop um, there as well with the, um, the airfield. Uh, but this is highly art directed. Not only, and, and this is all shot in camera, guys. This is not stuff that we're doing in AI with Mid Journey and stuff like that. We're doing all of this in reality. And that's why it looks real and it looks spectacular and beautiful. And as much as I love AI, and I actually think AI is really interesting and it's, it's, um, it's actually a great tool to also use as a photographer because you can generate concepts and you can even generate storyboards that you can now use instead of having to sketch them out yourself. Um, but with AI, it also kind of creates almost the same looking models over and over and over again. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, um, but I've played around with it myself and, um, just I've, you know, and it's interesting, but I would never use the images because I feel like they're just, it's a rehash and it's basically just ripping off other people's work and then readjusting it and then putting it out there, but they kind of all look the same. So for me, I still feel that it's so much more valuable at, to create your own work with real models, real people that are influencers, that are celebrities, that are people that, you know, people can look them up and look up their names and they are real people. To me, that's a lot more interesting. Art direction is everything. Okay, um, I, I, I got a question from Off, um, AUF, uh, T. He says, I'm missing art direction. What is the best way to start incorporating? So what I would say, Off, is that when you're incorporating art direction, think about this scene right here. Yes, you could just put a model standing in front of an airplane, looking at camera, but how boring would that be? I've seen that a million times, right? That's lame. <laughs> I don't wanna see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell a story. So instead of creating it boring and have somebody look staring at camera, I like to have them looking slightly off. Now, in this case, I normally don't have models looking towards camera. I normally have models, if I'm shooting fashion, looking off. But in this case, they're not looking directly at me. They're looking like kind of in my direction. And I had them walking by me shooting with a wide angle lens and then getting right up in there. And that's kind of another secret is like when you're art directing something at storytelling, just like I did in that Mad Men's Mad, uh, Mad, uh, Men, Mad Men story, as well as in this story with the, um, with the airfield is that we're shooting at all these different angles and we're shooting, you know, low and wide capturing them walking by. Then you have the male model where he's like, you know, way in front of the airplane, but like doing almost like a jump, like a skip stunning image i mean this to me it's like the right out of a gq camp you know gq uh, editorial um but uh but this was published in number eight magazine which is amazing and this photographer john wooten that attended this is like the first big photo shoot he'd ever done and boom he not only got published but he also won in top 10 fashion photographers of america award right here which was amazing really awesome to see i love that it's it's absolutely uh amazing amazing to see Okay, so um, uh, when you're creating these moments, we're going to be storytelling with the intention of having different angles, different um, focal points, focal lengths as well. Um, I like to sh uh, have different focal lengths throughout my editorial shoot, for instance, or advertising shoot, or portrait shoot, or even wedding shoot. I think it's important to have different focal lengths. So what I like to do is... Um, I have in my kit, I usually shoot with a 16, um, a 16 millimeter. So usually like a 16 to 35 millimeter. I have a 24 to 70, or you can use a 24 to 105. And I have a um, 70 to 200. Now I'm doing a production next week on location in Miami Beach. And I'm bringing all three of those lenses with me because I'm going to be using all three of them. Okay. Those are my bread and butter. Now, if you have any additional lenses, fantastic. That's awesome. But I love those lenses because you can tell so much story with those lenses, right? So you can do those tight shots. You can do those mid shots. You can do those wide shots. You can do um, aerial shots with an aerial drone. You can do all kinds of amazing things, but you can tell these are, this is different ways of storytelling. I also have different ways of compacting the shot. This is a good example of it, right? So the image on the right, 
the way it's art directed, where it's a bit more about the two models' faces and the and just the upper part of her dress on her chest. Um, but it's really a compressed shot where there is an airplane in the shot, but it's all compressed behind her. So the way to do that is to to essentially zoom in. So essentially, we're going to be kind of moving back, zooming in to photograph it. And that essentially kind of compacts the image. So you have it where, you know, it's a bit more about what's in the foreground as opposed to what's in the background. But there's a hint of it. Whereas on the image on the left, it's a bit more of a, you know, mid-range shot where, you know, this was probably shot with uh, like a 24 to 105 lens. Um, and uh, this was by... Um, Mike Wylett, one of my, actually, he might've been shooting this with an even longer lens, but he probably zoomed out a little bit for this because Mike loves those long lenses. Um, and Mike has attended 13 of our workshops. Uh, but this image is absolutely spectacular. And it has some incredible feeling to it because the model's looking back towards us, uh, but he's kind of this badass. He's got this huge gun on the, on the back of that thing. Um, but it's also like a cool, he's kind of has that cool factor, right? It still has that GQ cool factor, which I absolutely love. Um, and so, but you see, this is all still part of the same story that we're telling throughout. And, and this ended up being like, a, I don't know, 16 page editorial or something like that. So we had all these different models, all these different sequences and fitting it all together thematically, all in black and white, all with the airfield. Um, and, um, but, um, and then the wardrobe, you know, in a certain version of wardrobe that the fashion style is the styles for Vogue put together for it. But it's really, really interesting, really dramatic. So when you're art directing, I want you to also think about double page spread. This is a good example. If you have a model in the center of the frame, you see the seam right there. The seam is going to cut them right down the middle. So in this case, the photographer, in fact, this is also Mike, Mike Wallet. He put the model on the left side of the frame, but framed it in a beautiful horizontal shot to go for a double page spread. Plane looks amazing, but the seam, the gutter of the shot um, that goes in the middle of a magazine isn't going down the girl's face, not cutting off her limb. It's perfectly shot and perfectly art directed so that everything in this frame is absolutely spectacular. The girl's on the left, the seam's right down the middle. This is a really, really well art directed scene. This is something that a lot of photographers don't think about. They're going to kind of, a lot of photographers, especially if you shoot portraits, you're kind of centering your, your person in the middle or whatever. Don't do that. I want you to start thinking like an editorial photographer, whether you are or not, but it becomes a lot more interesting. And I think that if you can art direct a sequence that really tells a story, my goodness, you are in, you know, you have raised yourself to an entire new level. You know, I'll show you a few more examples as well. Um, this was actually shot on location in Las Vegas um, and um, some absolutely uh, spectacular stuff. Um, oh, and, and Scott, for some reason, um, uh, Goodwin, I know you keep trying to join. I don't know why it's not letting you, but if you can try again <laughs> and ask to speak um, and I will throw you in, uh, you know, I'll allow you and, and promote you to a panelist one more time, but I would love for you to try that. Um, but that would be absolutely um, fantastic if you could, Scott. Um, and uh, I uh, would love to have you come on and, um, uh, and, and join. So um, anyway, when we're shooting a scene like this, um, very complex, and we're shooting these amazing locations, um, but we're also storytelling. And I love this because we're shooting out in a, in a um, cracked earth desert. We're shooting out at red rocks. We're photographing in different directions. But like, for instance, those images on the bottom right, which ended up making the cover, which is cool. Um, but these images were actually shot like right next to each other, believe it or not. Um, and, uh, almost like basically the girl on the left was shot on one side and turn around and not very far away. It's shooting. Oh, well, actually it's the same girl. We turned around and shot her with the, um, the red rocks, but you see the difference in the color tonality, the difference in the feeling that's just because the direction of the sun, but you notice the lighting is still magical because we lit it in a really beautiful way. We brought in pro photo lighting equipment. We use beauty dishes and we, we created this gorgeous i love almost like this s curve kind of pose that that we had her model in and she kind of does it in both scenes um but it really really to me it looks really elegant really powerful and really beautiful it's a it's a stunning shot and i'm really proud of the photographers that shot this like Elias andrews who we ended up getting him published on the cover in a whole series of these and that's what's cool is that photographers get published over and over and over again um from attending these workshops, which is really special. I love, love to see this. 
This is from our elite master class, or I, I believe this was also from uh, our master class in Vegas as well. So this is incredible. So um, if you guys are interested in attending any of these experiences, um, we are the most elite photographic workshop in the world, bar none. We've been around 15 years. We've directed hundreds of these photographic experiences all over the world. We have them in Los Angeles, Newport Beach. We do them in um, Chicago, Las Vegas. Uh, we've done them in Atlanta, Dallas, Denver, um, Miami, New York. And also at my personal favorite, which is I happen to own a 49 room 13th century palace in France. Now I'm very blessed. I um, have had a very successful photographic career. And because of that, I was able to invest into buying this spectacular 49 room 13th century palace in Marseille en Cambrai, France. Um, in fact, I'm flying there next month and I will be there uh, for like four solid months. I'll be photographing and filming for my television show, as well as um, photographic content uh, with the castle and also directing. We have a very exclusive photographic in-person workshop. Now, this is cool because we get really in depth with art direction and storytelling, because since I own the castle and I own the location, we can literally do anything you could imagine at the castle, both inside and outside. Um, it was incredible last year. We had photographers that flew in from around the world. We shot with supermodels that came in and, uh, from Milan, from Paris, from Stockholm. And we photographed with, I had stylists come, come in from London and Berlin. And we photographed mind-blowing content on location at the Spectacular Castle. And also, photographers, you get to stay at my castle. And the castle is incredible because not only is the castle amazing, but I personally have spent millions of dollars renovating the interior to look like the Palace of Versailles. So the entire interior is absolutely decadent. This is the inside. This is actually one of the shots um, from our photographers. And this, to me, is a really interesting way to also shoot a double page spread, theme down the middle, model off to the left side, and we're photographing in the parlor room. This is also where you would be dining for, um, this is actually where you have breakfast in the morning. <laughs> but um, this includes, this workshop, it actually includes a stay at my castle. Um, we have, um, not only do you get to stay at the castle, we have all the beds are uh, plated in 24 karat gold. We have 24 karat gold plated chandeliers, wall sconces, um, as well as uh, all furniture from the 16th to the 1600s, all from the King Louis XIV era. So it is absolutely decadent. It is spectacular. And I'm really, really excited about the next production. But we just did one here in September and it was absolutely mind blowing. I think some of the photographers that attended it are actually live on this webinar right now. So amazing, amazing stuff. Now, during this workshop, this, this one includes a stay at the castle. Uh, this is in July, July 14th, 15th, um, 16th. Um, uh, I, I believe it's the, uh, uh, the dates on here are the 14th through the 19th. Um, and we are, this is in the dining room area, photographed by Evan Siegel, one of our attendees, um, and creating just mind blowing content where, um, you know, a story is being told here, right? The model's looking out the window. She's in her palace. She's in this elegant, beautiful green dress that's just flowing and beautiful. And by the way, we had fans on the floor blowing some wind into the dress. So there's a little bit of movement. You see the beautiful flooring all in marble, the, shant the wall sconces in the background. And unbelievable scene. And it's, it looks like she's this princess. You know, so this is an example of art direction and storytelling. And we shot a whole series of sequences over the course of, it's a six day, five night experience. Um, you're gonna be photographing for four solid shoot days. And on top of that, you get to, I have a Michelin star chef who's providing your incredible decadent meals. We also have um, a masseuse in the Southeast tower. We have horses on premise. It's an unbelievable experience that is not to be missed. So I'm very, very um, excited to share it with my photographers that attend. Um, this is the inside as well. We have an incredible history of this as well. So I don't know if you guys are, any of you are into ballet, um, but um, there's um, uh, the most famous male, uh, male ball uh, ballet dancer in history, Rudolf Nureyev from Russia, actually defected um, from Russia into Europe, and he danced with uh, Ghislaine in the uh, Paris Ballet. Um, she was the prima ballerina of the Paris Ballet. And this castle that had been owned by the Roche Dragon and Drop family for over 750 years, they sold it to Ghislaine and her partner, um, and they moved Nureyev into the castle and built the Rudolf Nureyev Ballet Studio.
on the third level, which is incredible. So I actually still have the Nuria Ballet Studio, the most famous ballet dancer in world history. We have his dance studio in the third level and we still have photographs of them dancing together. It's absolutely incredible. Um, so um, I am really, really excited about all the cool history. Also, the castle was built in the 1280s. It was built atop a 2,000-year-old um, Roman palace, which is absolutely incredible and decadent. Um, and um, so the castle is, is uh, absolutely beautiful. This is some of the, the outside of it. Um, but, uh, but, you know, whether uh, you are storytelling for, um, you know, a wedding, a portrait, a fashion shoot, a swim shoot, whatever it is, um, Art direction and storytelling is literally everything. Um, this is also gives you a little bit of the idea of the um, what it's like in the evenings. Um, this just shows you what we did every single evening. We did dining under the stars on the front courtyard with my Michelin star chefs. So it was it was absolutely immaculate. That's actually where we have lunch um, in uh, the salon. Um, so it's absolutely uh, spectacular <laughs> to give you a little bit of an idea. Um, and for those of you guys who are wedding photographers or want to get into high-end wedding photography, what I always recommend is instead of being just a wedding photographer that is just shoots average people, why not be branded as a world-class fashion photographer that happens to shoot weddings? And the best way to do that is to shoot with celebrities or shoot with supermodels um, because that's essentially what all the higher end brides do. They look at all the brides, the cover of Brides Magazine, right? And if you look at the cover of Brides Magazine, it's pretty much all celebrities and supermodels, right? So if you're going to be looking at, you know, the cover of Brides Magazine, because that's essentially where all the high end customers are, that's what they're looking. They're looking at this every single day and all they're seeing is celebrities and supermodels. Well, if you want to compete with that and maybe leave them in the dust, then I tell you what, there's no better way than to shoot content at a 49 room palace in France with supermodels. And we can even arrange something like this, which we've done in the past, which was amazing um, at the French Dream Castle. We had two um, spectacular Frisian horses. We had, um, you know, top supermodels with, um, you know, unbelievable dresses and gowns, and everything like that. So um, this stands out and this can brand you at a, as a very, very high level if you are into portraiture or weddings. This is on a whole other planet. But the art direction here is everything. The way the model is not just standing there in front of camera, the way she's posed. She has one hand off to one side, the other hand kind of going in the same direction, holding the flowers. You've got the horses leaning in towards her, but far enough away so you can see the castle. Otherwise, I mean, that was a challenge. I had to push the horses back so they didn't block the castle because you want to see the castle and the beautiful, you know, the um, vines that are in the spiral up the tower. By the way, I actually, um, uh, Priscilla, the Chatelaine at the castle, as well as myself, get on a 75 foot cherry picker and actually specifically um, curate that and uh, trim every every leaf along that tower to make it look like that. <laughs> so it's a lot of work goes into it, but it looks amazing on camera. Um, but this is all shot straight out of camera, which is absolutely breathtaking. But just giving you a little bit of an idea, but this is high end art direction and it does look more iconic. It stands out and I want your content to look like this too. And there's no reason that it shouldn't. It should look absolutely spectacular when you are going after this amazing story um, I want to make sure that you are going to be creating moments that are going to last a lifetime for you and for your clients. Content that, by the way, that, that content that I showed you with Mad, the Mad Men story, I shot that like 16 years ago. And I'm still showing it to you today because I'm really proud of it. It's a great scene. So it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, but uh, I, I'm really excited about all of the art direction that you guys are going to leave from the table here and go going forward, um, because I think that if you can incorporate any of these ideas, any of these concepts and put it into motion, it will make all the difference in the world in your photography. And I'm telling you, if you can create moments that are going to be iconic and last a lifetime, Clients will be climbing to get to you. They're going to want to be with you. And that's what you want to do. You need to be able to brand yourself so you're not just an everyday photographer, but you're that world-class photographer that can art direct these amazing scenes and that everybody wants to work with you. Now, it just so happens that I'm actually right now in Florida and I'm um, uh, in uh, next week, we're directing a live um, in-person photographic workshop um, in Miami Beach. And we're going to be shooting with supermodels. Um, I've got unbelievable talent. And, you know, we've worked with 
models from Sports Illustrated, from Victoria's Secret, from um, the guest campaigns, from Playboy, um, from uh, all the biggest um, brands. And this is actually a clip from um, one of our last Miami Beach workshops. As you can tell, the art direction and the posing on this is absolutely perfection. Getting these moments where the model, it, there's nothing like, you know, lame about it or cheesy about it. It all looks like powerful. They look empowered. They look sexy. They're having fun. They're beautiful. They're energized. It's it's the kind of look and feel that you that you guys need to go for. It's really, really, really important. And creating content like this, if you want to shoot for high-end resorts, you want to shoot for the Four Seasons or the Ritz-Carlton, or you want to shoot for the SLS or the Standard Hotel, um, like I have, or um, do you want to, you know, shoot swim campaigns? You want to shoot for, you know, um, Beach Bunny, Bunny Swimwear or Andy Bagus, or you want to shoot for Venus, or you want to shoot for the Sports Illustrated line, whatever it is, um, definitely I want to make sure that you guys are going to be creating content that is is going to be beautifully beautifully art directed because that is everything everything it is so vitally important to make sure that the art direction is key and the storytelling is spectacular and as you can tell the story here it was like a series of these moments that were we then clipped together in a video which by the way video is the best way to storytell always 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 and I love this and I can't wait to join our photographers in Miami Beach. Um, we have so much incredible stuff coming up. I've got some of the most unbelievable top models. I've casted from all the top modeling agencies in Miami. Um, we work with only the best of the best of the best of the best. Um, Elite, Wilhelmina, Ford, um, Front, um, Select, all the big modeling agencies. We get to cast from all the best of the best um, girls and guys and create moments that are absolutely iconic and gorgeous. And if any of you guys do want to join us, we do have one spot left. So if any of you guys are on right now and want to join us, we do have one spot left just because one of our photographers um, had an illness and wasn't able to make it. Um, but, and, and it's sad because Evan has attended, uh, he came to the French Dream Castle, he attended um, all these amazing experiences with us um, over the years, and he is unable because he's in failing health, and I have a spot available if you guys want to join us in Miami. It is an absolutely mind-blowing experience. Um, and I think that uh, you guys, um, you know, if you want to master art direction, storytelling, posing in person, and you want to create content that is going to just blow away the competition, this experience is going to rock your world. Miami is so much fun. I can't tell you how amazing it is. And the best part is, is you're working with me personally. So I will work with you every single step of the way. It's a five-day experience. It's from the 16th to the 20th. Um, and it is an experience where you will art direct these scenes, pose these scenes, and you will photograph the greatest images you've ever shot in your lifetime in swim and lifestyle photography guaranteed. And you're going to walk away with a body of work that is completely unparalleled. Um, and, uh, and speaking of that, um, we have the great Scott Goodwin, who has attended uh, with me in Miami Beach. And I'll showcase his content shortly. Um, but uh, the great Scott Goodwin um, is absolutely amazing photographer. And um, uh, he came from a kind of a world that um, was, uh, he came from more of a product world. And, um, and Scott, um, I know you came from more of a product world and now we are, um, you know, we're getting you involved into more of the lifestyle advertising commercial space. Um, I would love for you to talk a little bit about that, about, you know, what that was like and what you learned with posing, um, working with me and how that's kind of changed your body of work, um, since then. Hey, well, uh, hello, everybody. Thank you very much for having me. Um, sorry, I have lots of technical problems tonight. As you can see, I'm like really That's close okay. here. No worries. Uh, I'll back up a little bit. Um, yeah, it was just an amazing experience. Uh, nobody does it like Kevin does. It's uh, beyond anything else I've done. Um, I've shot a lot of stuff over the years. I've been doing this for a long time. And um, it really elevated my stuff. Uh, huge. It was just absolutely amazing. But I uh, learned a lot just, you know, with a great team, uh, always just an amazing team there. Uh, Kevin has the best people. I was really surprised how well everything went. Uh, the models were great. Everybody was willing and positive all day long. And uh, it just was, was fabulous. You know, when I've heard that from so many other people, as you can see, there's some stuff online there of my website. Um, it, worked, it worked great. You know, it just a lot of the models were very positive and willing to do anything. And they just they did a lot of it themselves. 
Um, you know, I did grab a couple models here and there and do something I wanted, which I was really happy with. But, uh, you know, Kevin was always roaming around and he would bring everybody together in just an amazing way. And uh, it's like anything, you know, once you do it, you feel feel it and you do it again and again and you expand on that. And uh, with Kevin's help, it really, really elevated a lot of my work. That's awesome. Well, you can tell because, I mean, you're already a really talented photographer, but this lifestyle stuff took you to another planet, Scott, in my opinion. And this work, which you shot at the Miami Workshop, is unfreaking believable. And what I love about this, and this, these are showstopper images, it is the storytelling, it is the art direction, and it is the posing that make these pop. On top of having top models, I mean, these are some of the best of the best of the best models that are professional lifestyle models, easily coachable, wonderful to work with, super fun, um, but and gorgeous styling. We brought in all these unbelievable uh, wardrobe pieces from Zimmerman to Free People to Love Shack Fancy for Love and Lemons, all these amazing styling and propping too, by the way, there's props. We shot on location at the SLS Miami, which is a really hip Miami beach uh, resort. And Scott created these, these scenes. Now, Scott, tell me, because you're a little bit more um, used to like shooting in studio doing more of that uh, product photography um, and you're beautiful at it. I mean, this is your work. It's gorgeous stuff. You know what you're doing. You've been a commercial photographer for many years. Um, you're very, very talented. Um, and, but this whole new, new world for you, which is essentially, you know, shooting high end lifestyle advertising. Tell me about like what some of the things you learned in, as far as the storytelling and the posing of the models. Um. <sighs> I feel like I'm put in the spot here. <laughs> you know, a lot of it on the photo shoots, you know, it, it just works. Um, you know, I shoot a lot of jewelry, so I was really emphasizing on a lot of jewelry and a lot of just natural stuff. Um, I like the studio stuff because it's easy just to grab the stuff and work by myself, where obviously when you're on location uh, with the models, you know, it's a much bigger group effort and there's a lot more stuff going on. Um, but just the, the natural freedom of the, the poses that everybody's doing on location, like in these shots, um, it just worked out. You know, I would just, it's like trying to do like a little story and you just keep on doing the story again and again, the girls be running down the beach and, um, you know, it, it just works. The, uh, the posing and everything just, just worked for the, the light. And, um, you know, I'm not sure, uh, how to put any better words. It just, uh, it, it really worked out and just. The amazing models we had, the attitudes everybody had, they were working all day long and they didn't get sour. They were always positive um, because the girl there doing yoga, she was a big athletic person. So I grabbed her and I pulled her aside and we started doing some um, some health stuff. And, um, you know, again, they're willing to do whatever you can do with them. Yeah, these are stunning. And so I want to just point something out here. Like to me, this is like quintessential Scott Goodwin. So, you know, you're really good at like focusing in, getting the faces, shooting the jewelry because you really want to focus on that. So we, we made that curated for you. So we made sure we had tons of jewelry in the scenes and we created all these amazing moments of beautiful jewelry. Um, now, this is beautiful. This is a great shot. Great. And, and this is a lot of photographers like, wait a minute, I'm a portrait photographer. I don't know if this is right for me. I think this is a great opportunity for a portrait photographer to get involved because how, what a better opportunity than even if you only want to shoot portraits or you only want to shoot weddings, why not shoot top, top models and shoot portraits of them with us, with high-end styling, hair, makeup, wardrobe, the best of the best of the best. Um, and to me, this is breathtaking. And I've even booked the, um, the same incredible A-list styling team that we worked with on this production with Scott for this coming week. So I'm really, really excited to work with that team again. Um, because I thought that they did a breathtaking job because really the cornerstone of your team, it's really going to be your styling. Now, some of these, these shots to me like this, this is not a Scott Goodwin shot. Typically Scott, you're more into the detail and more pose and stuff like that. This is like in the moment, this is action. This is fun. This is lifestyle. This is energy. This is happy, healthy people having fun, enjoying life. And to me, this is something that's very like getting you out of your shell. Would you agree, Scott? This is getting you out of your shell. And I hadn't seen you shoot stuff before, um, but did it feel empowering? Did you did you like this type of photography? Is it something you 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 feel like kind of stretched what you normally know and do? Yeah, it was an amazing opportunity with all of the perfect elements right there. And um, you know, once you get the crew together, it just goes so easily. But yeah, I love doing this type of stuff. You know, it's just it's just nice and different, like so many of us. People always ask me what I like to do. I said, well, I, I like the change. I like being in the studio one day shooting food or jewelry. 
in the next week shooting fashion or on the road and doing different things. So I, I love things when they change. But uh, this type of stuff I, is is the best. You know, it's, it's, it's the most fun. It's very different. And um, it's often what people stop and look at and respect the most, you know, out of the photography that most people do. I would agree. I would definitely agree that they respect this the most when people look at your work because they're going to. And, and you know why that is, Scott, is because just because it's a beautiful image of an inanimate object, it's still an inanimate object. But when they get to see an inanimate object like a Coke can being held by the model, they're going to be drawn in. And that's why, you know, you see a lot of ad campaigns for Coca-Cola where it looks like this. <laughs> this is what they try to advertise. I mean, yeah, they have some close up shots of the can, but most of the time they're telling the story of Coca-Cola. Right. They're telling the, they're art directing the story. They're creating these moments and they're showcasing that Coca-Cola is more about friends having fun. It's it's nostalgic moments. There's, you know, different people enjoying themselves and stuff like this. And I love the way you incorporated the product into the scene. And you've got the, you know, and, and by the way, these girls really couldn't rollerblade or roller skate. So instead of having them crash and burn and skin their knees, we're like, you know what? This is an interesting way to art direct it. We're going to put them, rest them on a wall so they can kick the rollerblades up. They can still have roller skates. They can still have fun and showcase a really cool scene, but they don't actually have to physically like roller skate because they're going to like wipe out. <laughs> so I thought that was really interesting. And also look at the background. This is one of my favorite locations. Um, I love um, this spot. This is one of my favorite kind of secret spots in the Miami Beach area. And I love, love, love these locations because it looks like you're in like a Bahama Island, right? Out in a remote space. And I thought that that really adds a lot of value to it. So um, now, Scott, um, you've done all this incredible work. I'm super proud of all this content that, that um, you know, we've been looking at here. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's certain ones, though, that I don't know about you, but that I personally gravitate to. Um, this one is one of them. Like, to me, this is an absolutely iconic image that I am in love with. And I'm going to tell you why. I feel like the wardrobe is absolute perfection. You know, they're wearing like $1,800 Zimmerman dresses. The girls are having the time of their life. The feeling is great. And also it's great because you can also see like a page spread here. You can do a seam down the middle, girls on the right with the lifeguard tower behind, girl on the left kind of doing almost, I don't know what she's doing, almost like dancing or whatever. But this looks authentic and real. And this to me is some of my favorite, favorite images, probably one of my favorite images I've ever seen you photograph. Right yeah, it's great. And, you know, to all the people who haven't worked with you yet, you know, it, 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 I don't know how to say it, but Kevin is just absolutely amazing. You know, I've taken a lot of workshops from different places. Um, you know, it's just a great time to go spend a week with uh, different people you don't know yet. Uh, but, you know, Kevin's always peeking over your shoulder. Let me see what you're doing. How's this working? You know, he, he adds so much. He just doesn't, you know, let you loose and don't see you for the rest of the day. He's in it, in the, in the middle of it all day long, keeping everybody going and yourself and giving everybody the feedback and, uh, you know, just adding a little couple things here and there, which is, you know, is huge. So Kevin's, Kevin's absolutely amazing. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I, I'm dedicated to my photographers and Scott can probably attest to this because this is why it's not called the Kevin Michael Schmitz workshop. It's, it's not about me. It's about you. And that's why I'm showing off all the awards of the photographers that I get to coach. I'm not showing off my own images. I'm showing off everybody that I get to coach. I get to work with you on your art direction, storytelling, and posing. But one of the things that I've been told by photographers, in fact, I think you got to meet one of them, Mike Wylett. Mike's great. Yeah. yeah, Mike Wylett. One of the things Mike has always told me, and the reason he's done 13 workshops with me, is first of all, obviously, he loves a great production, the, the big top supermodels we get to work with, the unbelievable styling, the incredible, and, and all the work that's put into putting on a production that's at the scale of $100,000 a day production. But the thing that he loves the most is mastering art direction with me. And I sit side by side with Mike on set, making sure that he walks away with the greatest images he's ever shot in his lifetime. And I, to me, I think that's really important. And it's something that we do that's very, very niche and very, very um, custom. And I felt like when I get to work with Scott, when I get to work with you, Scott, um, we get to just absolutely, I mean, you already have the photographic skills, but if we can translate the, your genius skills and your talent, but give it the production value and like master that art direction with the lifestyle content like you did here, it catapults you to literally like the top of the top of the top of the top industry. 
where you could go into any of the top agents that represent the top photographers in New York and they would seriously consider representing you. Yeah. And, that's, and, and, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that because I think that you deserve it. Um, and, you know, and, and the work speaks for itself. Thank you. Yep. That's what it's about. The work definitely speaks for itself. It's, it's absolutely stunning um, across the board. Uh, beautiful work, beautiful storytelling. Now, this is a little bit of a different storytelling. This was at our LA masterclass. Um, now, this is totally different. We're shooting out in the desert. I don't know if you have the images on here where we even lit a fire and we had like the tribal fashion with a fire. But these images are absolutely iconic for fashion. And to me, um, and I think you even won some awards with these, didn't you? I won a ton of awards, to be honest with you. Um, and what blew me away... More than the One Island Award, I think I placed three in the U.S., seven worldwide for fashion wow. with these images. But also I won uh, fashion for uh, communication arts, which has wow. um, always been something I've been blown away by. <clears throat> Excuse wow. me. But yeah, it was great to shoot this stuff. It was just so different um, to have the opportunity to do this type of stuff. You know, this is not something that I would normally do. This is one of your... Uh, yours and actually think Michael might have designed some of this stuff, yeah, but yeah. Um, the tribal day was, um, you know, so strong. It was just a little bit different from everything else that people see normal days. And uh, it really did really well. Absolutely. I, to me, what you just said, can you repeat that? You won number three fashion photographer in America and number seven in the world. Is that what you just said? Correct. Yep. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And that to me is, is absolutely everything right there. So you guys, uh, to, I, I'm so proud of Scott for being able to achieve that. And he deserves it because like the content that we're looking at right now, I mean, this is, this is straight out of, you know, uh, uh, Italian boat. Like this is, this is at that level. So I'm really, really proud of you for doing that and you deserve it. Um, what I would love to see is for you to showcase these awards on your website. Um, because these images are amazing, but showing that you won that award would, I think, be really advantageous. I think you've sent them to me personally, but um, I'd love for them to be on your website too, like showing which award you know, and showing that you're number three in America. That's a big deal, Scott. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I had somebody, uh, uh, an agent, work on with my website a little bit, so I'm coming back to do a little things over. But uh, I had to go for a year or so and let her dry some stuff. So. Fabulous. Also, um, you mentioned communication art. So if you guys, if those of you who don't know what that is, that's the most high profile um, awards. Um, if you could do, if you win in communication arts, as well as Lurzer's Archive, those are the two most high profile awards in the world. And the fact that Scott won in communication arts, it's a big deal. That That is a really high profile award. Wh which images won in that one? Was it from the airfield? Uh, it was from this thing in the airfield, I believe. Um, Got it. I don't have paperwork right here but it was the airfield uh the two shots um with the plane and the red race car yep and um the girl with the the horse there you just had up and um that one there on the left hand side of her walking so um this one right here yeah 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 stunning stunning and this is at our la elite master class on fashion um, that we hold once a year. Um, so, uh, and, and you also mentioned something about Mike designed it. So what I love, and I'm really glad you mentioned that. So one of the cool things that we do, you guys, based on um, the photographers that attend, and for our elite master classes, um, we do our main section workshops like Miami, like Newport Beach, um, but we also, um, like New York, but we also do our elite master classes. We have one on lifestyle, and that happens in October. And that's probably the next one I recommend for you to jump into, Scott, because it's um, basically lining up with the Miami work and the Newport Beach work, um, which uh, you haven't done Newport yet with us, I don't believe. But um, it's all on commercial lifestyle advertising. And the photographers get to design the concept with me and your ideas we execute. So in, in, for the instance, this was Mike's, Mike Wilett's concept, and we executed this live um, and created this moment out in this desert unbelievable location out near death valley um out towards death valley and near la and um and the moment ended up being amazing like he basically put his order and he's like hey kevin i want to shoot <laughs> you know i want to do a mad max story so we did it i want to do a tribal fashion story so we did it i want to do uh i want to shoot with um i had another photographer want to shoot with like an airfield and then mike's like hey that sounds great and all 
Um, I want to do an airfield. Um, I think uh, this was Mike's idea with the night. Was it your, Mike's or yours with the 1930s? I it was Mike's idea with the, uh, the red race car. The race car. Yeah. So Mike wanted this 1930s red race car. So we brought this in, shot this at the airfield. Um, and you ended up winning. Uh, this was an award winning image for you, wasn't it? Yeah. It was huge. That in the plane. Yeah. Yeah. Same type of pose. I just wanted a variation. And they both did really well at different places. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful and it's cool, you know, kind of has that cool vibe of the storytelling and the art direction. Um, but, but you guys can tell like this is this is what makes, you know, um, makes the difference. It's the storytelling. It's the art direction, the nuance um, and the feeling that you get when, um, you know, when you're when you're when you're shooting. It's really uh, it's really, really important to have the right storytelling. Um, and when I look at Mike's images, uh, to me, they just look very, very, um, I, they do look iconic. I mean, I just, I feel like there's this level of iconic feeling, whether it's lifestyle, whether it's fashion, um, you know, this to me personally is like one of my favorite images as well of all time from you too. And it's just absolutely breathtaking. Obviously, the model is just unbelievable. Um, and, um, and then you mentioned this one. I think this one won an award as well, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. This is another award-winning image. Um, this is another one of my favorite ones. So, um, and, and guys, I, we, our photographers win so many awards. I can't even keep up. <laughs> I try to update our website, but like it's, it's, we have so many more like thousands of amazing images and unbelievable award-winning images that I always want to showcase. So it's really cool to do that live on these webinars. Um, now Scott, for any photographer who is thinking like, Hey, this workshop looks amazing. But I don't know if I have the budget to to do it. Um, you understand high end production, and you understand the real cost between hiring models, booking locations, film permits, hairstyles, makeup artists, wardrobe styles, production assistants, catering, all the details. Um, how do you see that as a big value add to do a workshop as opposed to produce and spend several hundred thousand dollars doing it on your own? Yeah, well, you obviously can't do it on your own. Uh, you know, even you do any of these. Uh, type of shots. If you did two or three a day, it's going to cost you just ridiculous amounts of money that a client's going to have to pay for, obviously. But uh, like, I guess, like I said, I've done a lot of workshops over the years, you know, in Maine and Santa Fe and Miami, all these different places. And I you know it's kind of a vacation week for me, but I've never come anywhere close to having phenomenal, amazing images like I've, I've got here. I mean, it's really like you're a kid in a candy store. Everywhere you turn, you can do just great stuff. And um you know, it's it just, it's, I can't recommend it enough. Even if you did one every two years or something, uh, you know, if save a separate bank account or something uh, to, to do it, that's what I'd recommend. Oh, I appreciate that. You know, it's funny you mentioned that is I have a photographer joining us this next week in Miami um, named uh, William S. Barr, and he's been taking our workshops now uh, for 12 years. And he does them every year. He does, like, you know, one to two workshops a year every year for, for 12 years. And he loves them because it's like his escape, his getaway. He absolutely loves it. Um, and he's a photographer that actually doesn't do it full time. He just does it on the side. But he just has, he like you said, it's a kid, kid in a candy store. And he's just in love with these productions. Um, and, you know, he's done my Chicago workshop maybe six times he's done the master class i don't know four times he's done a miami probably four times and over the years he's just like fallen in love with it and creates new content and just like oh my gosh like this is amazing so it's really exciting to see you guys and to watch you grow and scott somebody like you i'm ha i had the privilege to work with because you're already really talented so when i get to work with somebody that's at, at your level which is al al already a really really high level and then i can actually see you kick it up even higher <laughs> To me, that's really exciting. <laughs> that's like, whoa, like, I'm really, really proud of you because you and, and you can see it in your, you know, in your website. It's like, oh, my gosh, like we did kick it up a notch to an entire new, pla you know, planet with this content. And and I'm, you know, really, really excited for you. And I'm proud of you. So, um, yeah, really and one thing I want to say is, you know, if you give people the opportunity to get these images, you just can't do it. You know, I've even trying to find people to help me get things off the ground, um, you know, to hire a producer and to get a bunch of models and even to do, do a test is is really tough. Um, so, you know, it's, it's amazing the world you open up for us to walk into, um, you know, the things like L.A. I'm in Boston. So there's a lot of, you know, pine trees and a lot of green, a lot of ocean over here. But, you know, to go to L.A. to do something different is, um, you know, is just just awesome. 
there's always something going on. And the same thing with the fashion stuff, I'm sure, in, in New York. To have the the tremendous amount of people in props and clothing and to have all this stuff at your hands is just, uh, you know, it, it, there's just no way you could financially put it together. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It, it's, it's a lot of work and it's all about who, you know, it's all about the connections the relationships. And I'm fortunate that over my career, I've built up the, the relationships, the best stylists in the world, the best hair, makeup, wardrobe locations, um, film permit offices. I know all of the people in all the major markets, not only in the United States, but also in Europe. And um, so for me, I get to basically use my leverage to bring in the best of the best people for you. So now you get to walk on set and shoot content like this. And that's what I get really excited about. Also, um, the one last thing I wanted to just mention was the video. So I don't see the video yet on your website, but I can't wait to see it because the video you shot at this workshop is absolutely stunning. The video that we filmed, it's absolutely like un freaking believable. And what a lot of photographers need, I believe, in this day and age is not only to photograph the greatest images of their lifetime with high production, but also to film unbelievable content, um, just like we see here. Filming this content is so vital. And for me, it's something that um, I think uh, when you put content from the shoot on your website, it'll take you up even a higher level, Scott. Yeah, no, I, I've, it's that my video guys, I've edited it a couple times. I wanted music put to it. And my video guy who helps me, just because I'm more old school, still life cameras than the video stuff, I have somebody helping me with the editing. Um, he's going through some family stuff, so it's going to take a little bit. But, uh, you know, it, it's been edited to death. It, it, it should go up. I, I don't know why it's not up already, to be honest with you. Excellent. Well, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see your, um, your edit of it um, and to see all of the stuff um, it, all this magic happened because you've got some incredible content, uh, from the video side. And I get, I get really, really excited, um, about that because I, you know, I'm a video guy too. I'm the TV director and host uh, and producer of the TV travel show, Great Escapes that airs on CBS. So for me, uh, I also love, 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 um, the aspect of, um, working with you guys to show you how to film video at a really high level, um, using, um, your SLR cameras as well. Because a lot of photographers, you know, you're you're a little bit leery about using um, video, some of you guys. And what better way to do it is at a place like this where we can create just unbelievable stuff um, and shoot content that you can use for your website uh, that is, you know, that lines up with the photographic content. And I know I've shown a lot of video. This is actually a little bit, a few of the clips uh, that we shot um, at the... Uh, uh, at the workshop that I think you might have even operated the camera on some of these um, and absolutely beautiful content. So, you know, when you get these beautiful swinging moments, and this is a good example of really strong art direction because it's all about not only where, how the models are posing, but also where the camera operator is. And there's you shooting actually yeah, under yeah. the script that gives you a little bit of an idea. But this kind of content like this, and I'm just visualizing this on the front of your website right there, that moment right there. That smile, that energy, I mean, I'm absolutely in love. And these are just raw clips. This is not even an edited video. This is raw out of camera, <laughs> which is really cool to see the hair, the makeup, the wardrobe, the prop. I mean, everything is so perfect right out of camera. Anyway, Scott, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you. I, I strongly recommend um, uh, you guys um, follow Scott's footsteps and join us at some of these live experiences. Um, just like Miami, Scott joined me in Miami last year. He had a blast. He shot the greatest content of his life and um, we're doing that next week. So if any of you guys wanna join that last spot left, um, we are gonna be on location. Um, and Scott, I can't wait to work with you again, but thank you so much for joining me. And um, I've had the privilege of working with you. It's been fantastic. Well, thank you. I mean, uh, I can't thank you enough and I hope Everybody in the audience gets a chance to give it a try. Um, you know, I, I don't get any uh, special pricing or anything like that. I mean, this is, you know, I want all you folks to give it a try because I, I can guarantee it's going to be the best thing you ever do in your life. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Well, it's such a privilege and I can't wait to see that video as well. So please send it my way when you have it up and ready. And um, we'd love to, to help continue guide you as well because we've done a whole series of photographic consults and I'd love to continue helping you with that as well and image reviews and um uh, refining that final brand on your website. I appreciate it. Great. All right. T take care, Scott. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, guys. And uh, so we have, um, 
we've just, you know, obviously seen some beautiful content from the great Scott Goodwin. Um, I love to see that. I love to hear that. And from the horse's mouth, you know, number three fashion photographer in America, number seven fashion photographer in the world award um, from Scott Goodwin. Unbelievable, incredible, incredible success. And I love, 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 love to hear that. Um, so proud of him. And I want that to be you guys next. Um, now, um, just so you guys know, when we are photographing these scenes, um, the art direction is so vital. And when we're when we're creating the content, oftentimes you're there and I'm I'm literally standing right next to you and I'm making sure that every single frame is going to be as perfect as possible. It's really important to me. For, for me, I care only about quality and I qu care about creating absolute mastery um, when you're photographing. So if you don't get it absolutely perfect, I make you go back and do it again. And, um, and I will do that. I, I literally will make sure um, to uh, that not only are you going to be photographing the greatest content, but if for some reason you don't feel like it's up to par, I make you go back and do it again. <laughs> so I make sure that you walk away with the best content um, of your life. And, um, and that's really, really important to me. Um, all right. So, um, uh, Guys, if you also haven't um, clicked uh, and filled out that survey, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, we uh, we sent a survey in the chat, and um, I'm going to send it again. And uh, I please, I, I recommend you fill that out. I really appreciate it. It's good for us just to have information from you guys. And also, if you are um, uh, if you're interested in the Photography University. Um, on Foundations of Photography. This is something that we are also offering. Um, that is my 30-day accelerator. It's something that's very, um, it, it, we've just started it fairly recently. Um, we had our first session um, in January and it was absolutely a knock out of the park success. Our photographers had an amazing time um, and we are getting ready for the next session, which starts next month. Um, and it's been filling up really quickly. In fact, we're gonna have um, uh, over twice as many attendees at the May session um, as we had during the January session, which is really exciting. Maybe even more than that, might even have three times as many. Um, so uh, it is a very, very popular thing. And basically what the Photographers University is, is essentially the, um, we're giving photographers an opportunity to have a 30 day um, live sessions with me personally, where we'll get on live each week for 30 days and I will work with you personally. And we're going to be going in depth about your photographic brand, your photographic portfolio, which is kind of like what we just did with Scott here. Um, we're going to go in depth about marketing as well as incorporating AI into your marketing and advanced marketing. We're going to go in depth on networking and how to connect with the right decision makers, whether it's um, clients are going to book you for a big campaign or whether you're booking more high-end weddings or portraits or whatever it is that you do, or even if you're a fine art photographer, could it be any type of photography? Um, and then um, on the last week, we're going to go in-depth on mastering the business side, making more money as a photographer, booking more um, opportunities, and um, being able to make more per shoot and closing the deal. So that is something, it's a 30-day accelerator if you guys are interested. Um, the cool thing, the coolest thing about it is it also entails a, um, uh, a direct one-on-one -on -one photographic coaching with one of our photographic coaches, which we have on right now, the great Eric Smith. Um, and um, our photographic coaches, in addition to me giving you live sessions, you'll have one-on-one -on -one coaching with one of my dedicated coaches will be one-on-one -on -one with you throughout that uh, 30 days. And he'll give you in-depth insight on how to master every facet of your photographic um, brand, marketing, networking, and closing the deal. Also, because the topic of this uh, webinar is photographic art direction, posing, and storytelling, we also are announcing that we're going to do another session of Photographers University starting in July, and that one is going to be specifically on photographic posing, art direction, and storytelling. And so we're going to do 30-day intensive on that. Um, this is the first time I'm announcing it, um, but basically photographers, if you this, it's unrelated to business. It's only specifically about mastering the creative side of your photography. And it's going to be a four week, 30 day intensive with me as well as one of my coaches. And we also have over 40 hours of content through the university portal, as well as about 20 downloadable materials, which are amazing. So it's a really intensive experience. Um, and if you guys are interested in that, um, the, um, that experience 
Um, it's, it's, it's 3K to do it, um, and it counts as a 100% credit towards any of the five-day photographic workshops that we offer, which is really, really exciting. So if you guys are interested, let us know. Um, it's an incredible experience, and we are dedicated before the workshops and the university, um, during the workshops, as well as after the workshops to make sure we ensure success, just like you saw with Scott Goodwin. So without further ado, um, I want to bring on the great Eric Smith. Um, he is um, a photographic coach. He works personally with me. And um, he works with photographers every day, day in and day out, coaching them, guiding them, helping with them with sorting out what are their best images, what their photographic vision is, what they want to shoot in their career, what gets them excited. And he even does all kinds of really fun homework assignments that start to with a photographer to, to kind of like start the, the creative process where it's like, oh man, all right, that's the kind of content that I do want to shoot. How do I get there? And Eric can help you get there as far as refining and discovering who you are as a photographer, mastering that aspect from a creative standpoint. Or if you're interested in the business side, he's an absolute beast when it comes to helping photographers make more money and book more shoots and be booked solid year after year after year. So I'm going to bring on the great Eric Smith. And um, Eric, I would uh, love to hear from you about what you, and first of all, Eric, um, uh, and by the way, where, where are you joining us from? Chicago. Chicago. Awesome. Awesome. So um, he's a Midwest guy, just like me. I grew up a few hours from Chicago and rural West Michigan. Um, and uh, Eric, um, I know a lot of you guys on are also from the Midwest or from smaller markets and stuff like that. Um, but Eric, when you get to consult photographers and guide them and help them and give them all this value, when you're talking to them and you get to review their work, just like we did with Scott Goodwin, right? We got to see his beautiful work. But when you get to see the average photographer and see their work, what about the art direction and the posing and the storytelling, or I should say the lack thereof, what stands out to you? Well, I mean, a lot of it's the, the, the lack of real emotion. You know, I, I see a lot of forced emotion. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, things that, uh, you know, you would see maybe in magazines 20 years ago, you know, a little more stock posing, like, you know, they're being posed. Um, and, you know, it's, it's very, uh, it's a very uh, interesting skill to be able to get people to put on an emotion on their face that you want them to, you know, and, you know, something that Scott said earlier was really important when he was saying like, it just worked, it just worked. And the models were so great to work with and, and the crew is so great to work with, you know, that's a big part of it too, is that, you know, having, supermodels who their job is to express emotion, then, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to curate those shots and, and tell somebody like, here's what I'm looking for because they're pros. I mean, they're literally at the top of their game and the lighting crew, the people are literally at the top of their game. You know, it's not like some of these smaller shoots that you go to and, you know, the lighting crew shows up and they're like, Hey, where do you want my stuff? You know, they're not happy to be there, you know, but all these people are happy to be there and, you know, they're, they're all able to do exactly what you want them to. Um, and that's why a lot of that has that feel of it just works because when you're working with, you know, amateurs, you know, it might be the prettiest girl in your town, but you know, if she doesn't know how to actually express the emotion, then that, you know, we really lose a lot with that, you know, because, you know, uh, something that's really important to think about with posing and art direction is, you know, thinking about what the client wants, you know, so why is the client hiring you in the first place? They're trying to sell something. You know, that's what it's all about. They are, they're trying to sell something. This commercial advertising is on, that only exists because they're trying to sell something. And what are they trying to sell? It's either a product or a service. And the majority of who they're selling to is consumers, not businesses. So, you know, if you look at the psychology of the sale, it's really different on the consumer end and the business end. So, you know, because the, the consumer, you know, like the standard people are gonna pick up that magazine or they're watching commercials. You know, they're, they're, you're talking about a lot of pro products that might be like a grand or less. Some products are going to be five bucks. Some of them are going to be two grand. But, you know, they're all trying to incite like an emotion in the buyer because consumers buy emotionally. And, you know, you would think like, oh, hey, um, you know, they're, you know, the people will buy based on logic. And it's, that's not true. That's very business oriented. And, it's, you know, and the bigger the business, the more logic is involved you know, a lot of stats and facts, but most people, they, you know, it's just really emotional decisions. And then they, their brain kind of backs up it with new logic. They'll figure out whatever logic they need to, to make sense of the decision that they made. Well, most importantly, Eric, like when you're looking at content like this, this is from our Las Vegas workshop, notice the art direction. 
if you were able to see this and compare this to an average photographer's website, you notice a big difference, right? Absolutely. Right. The, off the, bat. the storytelling and also the production value. You've got a camel. <laughs> You're shooting with unbelievable. You're shooting with, oh, an eagle, a falcon. She's walking in with a falcon. Oh, she's, um, we, we brought in um, a rearing horse that um, stand on his back legs and was rearing. We had, you know, all these little details or, oh, we built a set out in the middle of the desert. And we shot this whole incredible, like, you know, almost like a trapeze kind of production with ballet. It was, it was amazing, right? Yeah. Scale of the production, the art direction. Um, that's one thing I really notice when I look at photographers' websites, the lack of the art production. Like um, Scott mentioned something. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to put on a test shoot. You're right. Because a test shoot is basically just somebody who's not even a model or a beginner model. So they're not even good enough for your portfolio. And you don't have a budget. So you're basically just doing mediocre work. Well, who wants to do mediocre work? Nobody, it's not going to help a guy like Scott. <laughs> it's just going to shoot him in the foot. So instead of just wasting time and money putting together mediocre portfolio shots or, or mediocre test shoots for your portfolio or shooting your average person, your average customer and showing that in your website, why not shoot supermodels like this? This is Belena from Vogue and create content like this will catapult you to another level that you'd never be able to do on your own. Well, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, really when it comes to, to, to advertisers, I mean, these people, their, their job is to be able to pick apart a photo and, and guess how much it costs. And they have to be really good at it because, you know, uh, we talk a lot about different, you know, contract sizes, you know, $50,000 contracts, hundred thousand dollar contracts. But at the end of the day, you got to remember that, you know, they're, they're have to trust that a hundred thousand dollars with somebody. And if they're trusting it with somebody, they need to know that they're, they're able to handle that size production because, you know, you know, the photos and everything look amazing and the art direction, you know, is definitely there at these workshops and there's, but there's so much going on behind the camera. You know, there's, there's a lot that goes into these images. And so, you know, you have to have that level of professional on every aspect of the makeup, the stylist, you know, the, the lighting crew, the production, you know, everything, including the models to make these things happen. That's why it's so hard to recreate on your own in, in general. And how do you focus on the art direction and trying to get an emotion if you're worried about handling a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing? You know, it just takes all the art out of it. So, you know, it's it's a it allows for a certain level of cre creativity. And actually, I mean, large commercial jobs are the only place you can really get that level of artistic freedom because they have a budget for it. You know, you can bring in the props, you can you can bring in the models because the budget's there. And then you have the chance to show how artistic you are and, and really handle the set. And you can tell a story because the story is all what it's all about. The story is everything. And, and it needs to be captured in an image and in an instant. So the moment that you look at it, it's designed to give you a feeling. So like if you're going for high fashion, so high fashion, a lot of that, you know, they might be they might be looking for admiration or power, or prestige, wealth. There's some kind of a feeling that, you know, the Burberry or Gucci or Dolce Gabbana, they're gonna ask of the photographer, like, here's what we're trying to do. And then you have to be able to take that emotion that they're wanting to make and create a, 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 a you know, basically a, a still image that when somebody looks at it, a consumer looks at it, they get the emotion that the client wanted them to get. So that's really what the, you know, the, the high-end art direction is all about. And it's just, well, it's almost impossible to create, probably is impossible to recreate without that level of professionals all working on towards the same vision, you know, which yeah. is a, a, another big reason to have talented people around you. All these people are at their top of their game. They're happy to be there, you know, makeup artists making two or three grand a day just to be there. You know, they're, they're coming in, you know, they're the top of their class, but they're also extremely ecstatic, but they're going to understand what you're looking for. And so is the model and you can work together as a team. So it's a cohesive unit that really, gets that emotion that the client wants you to get. So like if it's uh, auto sales, it might be freedom. You know, they're, you know, they want you to feel adventurous when you look at it, you know, or, you know, if it's Mercedes, something like that, it's about status. So I would say that that's, you know, that's how, what makes this possible is that you have a whole team of professionals all working towards the same vision. And if everybody's on board, then it's, it's, you know, it's a lot easier to capture that. You know, and uh, these these images, they have to be very candid. They have to be very realistic. You know, it kind of make you feel like you're standing there when you're looking at the photo or when you're watching the video. And, you know, get that same emotion as if you were there like resorts. You know, you got to have that feeling of relax and you know, relaxation or that you're really content, carefree. 
you know, fun. You know, it just really depends on the type of resort and the feeling that they want to, you know, to display. It's great images there. Yeah, yeah. That was from our Colorado workshop, um, which was absolutely amazing. And then this is from the workshop that we like we have coming up this week in Miami, which I'm super excited about. So um, so, Eric, you know, you've got to, to you know work with photographers and see how far they've come from attending our workshops and the kind of success that they've had. Um, and to me, the really important thing is having that success also on a creative standpoint, um, having the right art direction, storytelling and posing, but also more importantly, the production value, which is what we're talking about today. Um, having stuff like this, we shot this on location at the owner of Elite Models Miami at his mansion on Key Largo with supermodels from Sports Illustrated, Victoria's Secret, the guest campaign and Playboy. It really stood out. <laughs> the photographers that shot this, um, you know, I have a photographer, Adam, who attended this workshop and um, he um, attended like four other workshops with me and he won number one fashion photographer in the world award, Adam Friedman. And now he's shooting all only like he, he started out doing, you know, basically low end work in D.C. And now Adam is shooting exclusively six figure campaigns and TV commercials. And that's all he's doing now. And yeah, a bunch, a bunch of work for Capital One and stuff like that. I just talked to him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's really exciting. I get to see um, all the success happen. Um, and he's been to our Miami workshop a few times, um, but it really catapults photographers to another level. And I love to see photographers also uh, like um, uh, our photographer, Charles Randolph Warren, who started off working with me and he, he grew up in like, he was in like South Carolina and he was in a different industry. So you guys might have, you know, experience something like that and transitioned into photography. And he's like, Kevin, hey, uh, my goal, I want to shoot, I want to move to Brazil and I want to shoot for Vogue and I want to like, I want to be a big fashion photographer. And at the time he was making like $150 a photo, ses a photo shoot session. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, no worries. He got involved with us at our New York workshop as well as our Los Angeles workshop. And he did a one-on-one -on -one with me. And now Charles is shooting for Dolce Gabbana. He's shooting Vogue. He's shooting for Harper's Bazaar. He's shooting for Cosmo. He's shooting for Lee Jeans. He's doing all the dream opportunities. Um, and it all started with working with us with Photography Workshop Series, which is really exciting. And all that art direction, storytelling, and posing, he now uses at a really, really high level shooting for Dolce Gabbana. And I love that. It's, it's, it's really exciting for me to see this and to see the kind of success. Um, but it all starts with the correct nuances. And it's hard to learn that. You know, how do you learn those kind of things? You know, I mean, no one's going to just randomly give you a budget of a half million dollars to go and like, you know, learn it on your own. <laughs> so that's the cool thing about what we do is that we have the opportunity to create mind blowing content that you get access to for you to shoot the greatest content you've ever shot in your lifetime guaranteed. And to also um, photograph and film content that's going to completely trans just transform your entire career creatively and professionally, which is really, really exciting. Now, um, Eric, my last question for you is when it comes to uh, when you look at photographers' portfolios, um, do you feel like adding more story to their images? Like say the photographer wanted to shoot for resorts, right? Do you feel like adding more story into their photography and video, how would that change their, their life? Well, I mean, for one thing, um, just having those images in your portfolio, even if you didn't follow like 80 percent of the advice we give on the business stuff. I've had I've had photographers tell me even recently that, you know, they're excited to start working with the university and get some more coaching because, you know, they, they didn't do a lot of the steps that we asked them to, but still tripled their income. Because having these, you know, having these shots, you know, uh, just it just puts you at a different level when anybody goes to your website. It doesn't matter if they're local or if they're a creative ad director for Pepsi. Just doesn't matter, you know, one way or the other. So, I mean, having that, it just it just puts you at a different class. It just puts you in a different level of photographer because, you know, most photographers look at the type of images that we do and, you know, they say, well, I wish I could do that, you know. And it's, it's because it's, it's a very particular look. And, you know, and that look comes from the fact that it, it, it emits an emotion and you can't find an, an issue with the image. Like it's the image is perfect and it conveys an emotion. So like having the art direction is really important uh, because, you know, I've seen a lot of photographers who, you know, have their friends come out, you know, like somebody that they know to model for them, you know, with a with a resort or something in the background or beach, you know, and there's always this. It just seems like there's constantly a desire to 
you know, to get a still shot that's posed. Mm. And it always just had, you know, a lot of it really has that look of being posed rather than, you know, your mind trying to figure out what's happening in the photo. You know, so you see it and you know that there's something going on and it's part of a bigger story, you know, leaves your, your imagination down. Like, you know, they're extremely happy, like in the moment, they're really happy. Somebody just said something really funny. They're obviously having a great time, you know, or it's like, well, she likes posing in the sand. You know, so that's really the biggest difference is that, you know, the the emotion isn't there. If you don't if you don't work on making it a still shot, really, literally the the slice of life. And that's why, it's, you know, if you really break it down, that's why they call it a slice of life is because you're trying to capture a moment inside of a story and let the mind go into that story and try and put together the pieces. And that's exactly what an advertiser wants somebody to do. So they need to look on your website and have those emotions themselves and see that work and then also recognize the models. Otherwise, they don't care. <laughs> but, you know, they, they have to see that and, and understand that that's something that you can do for them, that you can convey an emotion. And you can't do that without storytelling. Definitely. Definitely. No, you're so right. Um, well, thank you so much. I, I think that's all some really, really, really good guidance and advice. Um, and I've, you know, I've had an opportunity to do this for my entire career and create content that is just out of this, out of this world um, and allowing our photographers to grow, to build and to create content that they're proud of. And I think that, you know, having the right art direction, the right story, the right moments, and obviously the right production at your fingertips, it makes all the difference. So thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. And, um, and if you guys are interested in working with us uh, further, we, um, we can set up actually a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our coaches, including Eric, who is um, really excited to work with you guys personally. Um, and uh, Eric, um, tell us a little bit about like what just briefly, you know, if you jumped on a coaching session with one of our photographers on right now, um, uh, on with them, what kind of things could you go over on the creative side that might benefit them personally? Oh, absolutely. You know, I think something I typically do right off the bat is I just want to look at some of your photos, you know, just one after another, after another and after another and see if there's something that your your eye lends itself towards to see if you're, you know, maybe just a little bit more poised towards the direction of fashion or if you're a little bit more poised to lifestyle, because, you know, it's definitely possible to do both of those. You know, it's just when you're building a brand, you know, you start off and like which direction would be the first, you know, the first foot forward, um, you know. And so looking at those images, a lot of times, um, you know, with the websites, you know, while you're going through those images, I can share uh, I can share with, the, you know, the photographer what I'm going through when I'm going. So if I was a if I was a buyer and I went to their website, you know, is this easy to navigate? Can I tell where the pictures are? Am I getting confused? Is there too much going on? You know, does it look like you're a jack of all trades, master of none? You know, so because the, the website that you're inviting people to, to come to is going to tell everything about you. They're going to make a they're going to make a decision about how they feel about you and a photographer, typically within the first like 30 seconds of looking at your website. So do you have your best images up the front? And are there any images that you wouldn't want um, an art buyer to look at if they saw that? You know, would they think less of your work? Get all those out there. Be picky. You need to, you know, out of all the work that you do have, you know, put the best foot forward. And then if you need better work to get better clients, then make that happen, too. Um, and then, you know, we we can go over, you know, different struggles they've had with marketing, for instance, you know, problems that they've had with overcoming rejection or if they've done reach outs or if they can't seem to get a hold in a certain market. You know, we can talk that through, see what kind of roadblocks that they're running into or what kind of glass ceiling they've smashed into. You know, like, why can't they get to a certain point? And, um, you know, a lot of other questions come up about like networking, closing the deal, um, how to put those proposals together. You know, and really depending on, on what I'm going through with somebody, we, we have a variety of free content that I can point you towards to start, you know, at least start, you know, getting you in the general direction, you know, baby steps in the, in the area you want to go. But all of it starts with, you know, initially going through your goals and wonder, you know, like, why haven't you got through those goals? What do you think uh, needs to happen? And then getting some advice about what it's really going to take to reach those goals. So, I mean, that's that's the bulk of it, you know. So, I mean, a lot of variety of topics come up uh, when I'm talking to photographers, but it's, it's you know, it's so it's really tailored. I mean, we can talk about any part, but usually photographers have one or two main issues that they're trying to overcome at the moment. And that's usually what they get the most out of out of those first sessions. Yeah, excellent.
Well, thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for, for joining us live. Um, and, uh, and guys, um, you know, art direction, storytelling, and posing, it is the most important thing. I mean, it really is. When you're trying to create something, you're trying to photograph something, I want you to just go far beyond the aesthetics. And I want you to really think about how that person is moving, where they're looking, how they're moving on camera into a moment, into a story that's going to unfold that we can capture and we can tell a story for a magazine or for a client. Now, if you guys are interested, um, when you jump on one of our coaching sessions, we can actually give you a free photographic posing guide um, during that Zoom session. And Eric will go over it with you. And we can even do a photographic style assessment so we can kind of discover what kind of style and look you're going for. So um, I encourage you to do that. It's an awesome experience. We can give that to you. Um, it's normally something that's only accessible to our attendees of the university, um, but we're going to be offering that for free when attending one of these free photographic momentum sessions, just because I want to give and I want you guys to have that experience. Uh, and I think the posing guide might be beneficial to you. Thank you guys so much. And I really, really can't wait to see what you guys do to incorporate art direction, storytelling, and mastering your posing into every single one of your photographic productions. I look forward to seeing you.